Perhaps you caught the latest news and press release uh, involving the software updates to the Tesla Model S. Maybe you didn't, but it seemed to be just too important for me to pass up. So I decided to do a quick video blog on it to get this conversation started. There seems to be two key ideas that are happening here. And the first seems pretty obvious, but the second maybe not so obvious. Firstly, through a software update, the Tesla Model S is now able to basically operate autonomously. It can park itself, it can close your garage door, it'll drive to you if you're not near it. And if you get out on certain types of roads, it'll drive itself. In fact, if you look at the, the, the press release, all of this, these things really just need to happen on private property, which says to us more than anything that this has nothing to do with the capabilities of the vehicle and its technology, but it has everything to do with simply the legality of if it's allowed to drive itself. So the technology is already here. So how can we say the future is not now because it seems like it's already here, does it not? But the second thing that I think is more overarching and broader that people seem to not be catching on to as much is simply the fact that through a software update alone, the Tesla, Tesla has fundamentally changed the way its car can operate. It doesn't involve any kind of new components. It doesn't involve bringing it to the dealership or anything like that. Through wireless updates, the car can now drive itself. And this to me is a really huge deal. As you know, the traditional car, you buy it, that's what you get. It doesn't get upgraded anymore. Now Tesla has been kind of, you know, doing these upgrades in the past, but it doesn't, it's not like your phone where you're just getting, you know, a snazzier graphics or a slightly better map or something like that in your apps. The car can now drive itself. It fundamentally changes what it can and cannot do. And that to me is absolutely amazing. To say the future is not here now, to me seems silly. It's here. So the question is, do you agree? And what do you think about these updates and the capabilities of the Tesla Model S? I know it has some range issues and all the stuff that comes with electric cars, but the fact that it can do all these other things via software updates, I find absolutely amazing. So please leave your comments below whether you disagree or agree. We can get this conversation started and I look forward to hearing from you. And of course, stick around and hopefully I'll see you soon.